Hi hey everybody, Pennine Trout Fishery, decided to give it a shot, 12th September, I did go down to the Sheffield and Armfield Reservoirs, but um, I wasn't overly impressed with them, however, like Pennine, lovely little place, but again today, it was a bit of a hard fish, I don't think anyone got more than 10, I got 5 myself, one or two people around got 8 or 9, hard day, previous day apparently no one got anything, but Andy had restocked it again that evening and stocked it again in the morning. I don't think it's a case of lack of fish. There is loads of fish in this water. It's just they're particular in what they eat. This ant, they loved it. Apps bloodworm, they love it. But they weren't going crazy for it. So, fish had shown on the surface for about 40 minutes during the morning. Um, didn't get into them at all. But when it died off, it gone down. I got my old faithful Apt's bloodworm out, cast it out, but an extra long. I was on 14 foot leaders, tapering down to six pound ends, and uh, just put it through the water. And uh, as normal, either a figure of eight or long draws or a mixture of either. I one cast, nice long, fast draws, next cast, nice and slow. Well, on this case, or in this case, I did a figure of eight. And basically on the second cast, I, this is my second cast, put it out. And you can see there's no fish at all showing on the water. So they're either just underneath it, gone off the feed. But I stuck this in front of them. And literally, straight in. Well, it would have been straight in. I'm slightly out on the video, I think. But you've got to laugh. One thing I did get today was lots of practice on my casting. <laughs> Eight hours. Here we go. Got him. Nice little fish. Nice heart finding rainbow. Get it on the reel. I'm one of these that end up with a line all around my feet when I stop thinking about what I'm doing. Next minute, you stand on the line. Fish makes a run. Static object in it, line snaps. Play it off the reel where you can. Was it a big fish? It's only about two and a half pound, something like that. But again, Apps Bloodworm did the trick. Didn't do it after. I think I had one other take after. I was changing flies every 10, 15 minutes along with the, the water, fanning the water, half left, half right, center, quarter. Just weren't taking, unless that little trout was hungry. Moved over, left at cages. Don't like fishing around the cages. Just off to my left, a lot of fish were showing on the surface. So I turned to a black foam ant. Probably a 16 or 18, I think it was ultra small. And I knew that if I hooked into something, I would have to play it very lightly. And lo and behold, second, I think it might have been the first cast, something took it. But I had to take it nice and easy because I thought, if it's the biggest fish, four or five pounds, it starts thrashing around. You're going to bend that hook because it looked really thin. But I'll give it a try. It's probably one that I use on the rivers, to tell you the truth. So I'm not putting too much force on it. I'm letting the rod take all the, all the, the pressure off the fish. And again, the line, which flexes a little bit. And I thought, I'm going to get this in as quickly as possible. And then the next minute, it did a bit of a flip. And I thought, it's it's strange. It's coming in strangely. I think it popped the hook. But the hook then hooked into the back of the fish. And I brought the fish in backwards. So he didn't get away after all. 
speaking to a couple of guys on the other side of the bank there, back four and come down from Newcastle. Such a popular water. Windy day as well. It forecast to be like four or five miles an hour. But we were getting some right gusts coming across the water. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you later.